going to do is place a ground grid or create a ground grid. So what I have now is an assembly open. Now creating a ground grid, there's several ways to do it. And uh, the first method I am going to show bringing in a AutoCAD sketch. So I have my assembly open. I will go into my XY plane. XY plane is typically our um, reference plane for um, the ground grid. So I will start a new sketch on that XY plane. Now from AutoCAD, I will cut and paste my sketch from AutoCAD. And then here I will just paste it in, Control V to paste it in, or I could right click and paste it in as well. And here is placing my grid. So I have a grid in here, and if I need to move it and locate it correctly, which I would want to do, I can use move or rotate tools that are part of uh, normal inventor functionality and place it to where I need it to go. If I use a skeleton sketch, I can project skeleton edges so I can reference where my AutoCAD sketch should be referenced. I can dimension to it as well. But in this case, what we're going to do is run our ground grid from geometry already built. Here's my ground grid. This was built using Inventor tools, just normal sketch tools in Inventor. Again, I have my skeletons for a reference in here. What the ground grid tool does, it looks for blue lines to create a ground grid and you can see the blue lines here. In the AutoCAD sketch we'd have we had previously, we would have to change the color of the lines, the properties of the lines to blue. That's easily done. You right click and you can go into properties. So here I have my ground grid sketch and I will finish that sketch. I'll make it visible. And what I need to do now is to, to open my substation design toolbar. So I'll go in my below grade tools and I can generate a ground grid. What I'm going to do for this exercise is take the defaults on the molds and shots. We have several selections in here. I'll take the default uh, four knot cabling. This is all customizable in the substation design content editor. In the ground grid, I am going to use my current assembly because I have this assembly open. It is set up that we, if we had nested assemblies, we could do it with nested assemblies. But I'm going to use my current assembly. I'm going to ex select an existing grid sketch because that's what I have. I have a grid, grid sketch. And I'm going to just create the grid directly. This tool will also place grid lines in specific spacing for you to make it a little bit easier if you wish to do it that way. But I'm going to create my ground grid. You can see it's working. And I'll say done. So in our browser tree, we can see our ground grid elements have been generated and placed in. I'm going to turn off the visibility of my sketch. We don't need to see that anymore. And we can see that a ground grid has been made. We can see that if we zoom in, we can see we have a mold and shot representation. We have our, our four knot cable. We have a mold, and we have our shot. Now, our shot's a consumable, but we show it so we can count all our shots. At the end points where it overlaps, 
you can see the two inch overlap if we come up to our generate ground grid tool when we generated it we had a overlap of two inches ground grid tail length two inches set and that's where the two inches here comes in so that is our ground grid we've generated it and what we can do now is simply add another run if needed if need be if we um, needed another run later on we can add a ground grid run and just like that we've added a run what we also can do is add a ground rod if we come into our settings our below grade settings look at our grounding we can see we're going to use a 5 inch 5 eighths inch rod 8 foot long pieces and it's going to be 12 feet long so it's going to be multi-segment this again is editable in the substation design content editor and I'm going to save that and place that in so if I wish to place a ground rod it will place it approximately where I select my mouse and here we can see a ground rod has been placed in there again this all can be customized the shape and the look and the parameters the part um, the metadata can be all changed in the substation design content editor and there we have creating a ground grid adding a ground run and adding a ground rod